वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.11 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड दिस प्रॉब्लम बट देर वाज अ एरर सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इट अ 30 इंच लेंथ ऑफ एल्युमिनियम पाइप ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया 1.85 स्क्वायर इंच इज वेल्डेड टू फिक्स सपोर्ट ए एंड टू रिजिट कैप बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द पाइप सी डी दैट इज वेल्डेड एट पॉइंट ए एंड at point b there is a rigid cap clear the steel rod ef of 0.7 inch diameter is welded to cup b this is steel rod ef that is welded to point b at by using a rigid cap okay so knowing that modulus of elasticity is 29 into 10 to the power 6 for steel and 1.0 10.06 Into 10 to the power 6 for aluminium. So determine the total strain energy of system when P is 8 kips, and corresponding strain energy density of pipe CD and uh, EF. So from given data, we know that this length of rod uh, pipe CD is 30 inch. So the written it area of this DC is 1.85 given in the question. डायमीटर ऑफ रॉड ई एफ इज जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव एंड लेंथ ऑफ ई एफ इज फोर्टी एट इंच ई एफ ऑफ स्टील दैट इज ऑफ स्टील इज ट्वेंटी नाइन इंटू टेन पावर सिक्स वाइल द मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम पाइप इज दिस सो वट वी हैव टू फाइन इज टोटल स्टेन एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम यू फॉर पी इज एट Kips, and in B part you have to find the strain energy density in C D and E F. So let's start toward the solution. Now you can see at point E we have a load of P. So this E F is in tension. Clear? Due to this tension, there will be a load on this aluminium pipe. This will be in compression. So remember E F is experiencing a load of P due to this load is in tension, so force is plus eight thousand pound. While member C D is in compression due to this load, so this compression will be equal to eight thousand, but that will be in negative. Now area of element E F. Diameter is given, so area is equal to pi by four d e f square. So when you put the value of d e f, so you will get the area is zero point four four one eight square inch. Now we know that in our part first we have been asked to find the strain energy. So we know that total strain energy is of the system is equal to strain energy in d c plus strain energy in rod e f. so we will find separately and we will add them to get the total strain energy now for cd we know that strain energy in cd is equal to p square l over 2 ea so p in cd is compression so it is minus 8000 square into length of cd is 30 inch so divide by 2 into e of This aluminium is ten ten point six into ten to the power six into area which was given as one point eight five. So when you calculate it, you will get the total strain energy in rod in rod or in aluminium pipe C D will be this one. For rod E F that is made up of steel, so U E F is again this is the same formula. Here P is tensile, so eight thousand square into length. Total length is forty-eight inch divided by two into E is for steel is twenty-nine into ten to the power six multiplied by the area which we have calculated over here. So when you put, you will get the total strain energy for in rod E F comes out to be this one. Now you have to add both of them clear to get the total strain energy. So total strain energy will be this one. now what will be strain energy density so we know that for steel uh, for aluminum pipe cd we have stress is equal to p by a the stress is uh, load is minus 8000 because it is in compression so when minus 8000 divided by the area of aluminum pipe will give you the stress in aluminum pipe 
also the strain energy density for aluminum pipe is equal to stress square over t 2 e e 2 e so when you put the value of stress and modulus of elasticity for aluminum so you will get the strain energy density in pipe cd same is the case with rod ef so stress is equal to load per unit area here the load is tensile and area of ef is this one so when you put it you will get the stress in ef will be this one now strain energy density in rod ef is equal to by is by using this formula so you can put the value of this and e of this steel so when you put it you will get the strain energy density in rod ef so this this will be the answer of our second part i hope you have enjoyed this video keep watching and uh, uh, do comments if you like my videos thank you